Hey there guys, it's Salus, and welcome back to Blades of Time. Now, as you may remember, last episode I was very, very confused as to exactly what was happening. You'll be pleased to know now that I have something resembling an idea. Namely, I watched uh, another people playing on YouTube, and I found out that what you have to do is this. What I've been doing the whole damn time. Right, you get back onto the platform, wait for them both to go down, then you rewind time again to create another clone of you, scout around the edge, wait for both of them. That seriously- what? That worked when I watched it, what? How the- The idea is, both of these switches activate and it causes the spikes to retract. Whether or not that actually happens is entirely up to the game to decide. And since most of the time the game is just quite content to say, yes, I am an asshole and deal with it. Let's go back a bit further. There we go. Right, that's my time rewound. Now, you rewind time again to make them trigger the platforms. There you are, they're both down, they're both down, they're both down. E! No! I meant to grab the thing! Right, it does work. Okay, we know it works. Right, first things first, get rid of that annoying mine that's going to be in my way. And my compass is going nuts, I know. I will find the treasure. I promise I'll find the treasure, mother. Right, rewind time. Both of those can sink. And then rewind time again. Okay, right. Here we go. Right, both of those going down. Shit just got... No! Damn it! Okay, so I've obviously got to stay on the platform for a certain amount of time before I try time rewind. That way they, that way my clones do exactly the same. Okay, first, let's get rid of all these boxes while my time power regenerates. Because I think I'm going to need all my time power. If I spend half on each one, then in theory we should be okay. Right, let's just trash the place. I just don't feel comfortable until I've sliced something up in this game. And if that has to be the scenery, then so be it. Why well, can't I just slice up that big demon statue? Which I'm pretty sure is going to come alive once I'm done. Because if anyone's familiar with this level, it's because this level is the demo. So the demo doesn't really establish anything, it's just a okay, case so of here, you have time power, use it. Okay, right. Now I have time power. We stand on platform. We rewind time. Right. Do, 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 do. Then we run across. Right. And we hang around a bit. This might work. This might work. Then re we rewind time. Okay. And, okay, right, you two stand on your platforms. Do as you're told. And I'm going to E that. Them all to activate the portal. I don't get it. Why do the people guard it? I don't know. The people are in danger being here. I wonder why the Vicar of Chaos hasn't killed them off yet. Uh, Where because he's a vicar. The treasure. If so, I could understand their hostility. Okay, treasure is this way apparently. Although that does look like an expedition into Painville. So I'm not going to do that right. Hopefully all these stupid switches to activate the portal will not be as hard as that one. Right now, what's Compass saying now? Compass is saying back there. Okay, so if I stand here, where does Compass say it is? Over there. And now Compass say over here. So I'm guessing it has to be down here somewhere. 
Yeah, right here. Is it in a chaos thing? Yes, it is. There you are, compass. You can stop going nuts. Oh my god. Finally, a gun that isn't useless. Of course, I'm equipping the machine gun. You know what, sometimes hunting treasure isn't such a bad idea. Of course, sometimes it's absolutely terrible, but you know. I found a, I found a freaking machine gun. Right, open the door. Open the door for me, come on. Come on past Ayumi. There we go. Now... Hopefully I'll get to slash someone up and not just the scenery. Oh, cutscene. Hello. Oh, Vera, what are you doing here? What am I doing? Uh, nothing. I'm frustrated that I can't leave, though. It makes me feel like an idiot. Yes, you are. There is a way out. Another sphere. How do you know? The guildmaster. He contacted me. I think it's a bad idea to trust that old monkey. So, yes, so do I. Are you going to spend the rest of your life here? Mm. Michelle has a couple of loose screws for sure, but at least she's trying to do something. Something isn't going to help, Zero. You can't leave Dragonland by normal means. She's manipulating everybody. Yeah, tell it like it is. Doesn't mean you can go around killing everyone. I heard you murdered people on that ship. That's weird. They were evil. You don't understand. It was like a prison. I had no choice. You know, Ayumi, there are times when we have to make hard decisions because of the circumstances. We're all trapped here, caught like damn rabbits, and we can't afford to lose our heads. I think you'll find everyone else could afford to lose theirs when I got through with them. Either. Michelle believes that activating the portal will kill everyone, and I don't want to risk dying. Hello, I've traveled through th how many portals so far? Three? I don't think it's going to kill everyone. Stop you. But I won't help you either. Do what you think is right. I'm going to nice sword, mate. Sorry about your dick. So this is where we go our separate ways, then? We'll just have to see. Well, there you go, Ayumi. You found your he annoying like friend. Nice guy. You should remember what he said. I know. But at the moment, he seems confused. Oh, I like this gun. Finally, a gun that isn't useless in this game. Okay, so let's E this. Okay, I didn't need to rewind time for that one. That's kind of odd. Okay. You know, that's funny enough. Q. And I'm going to time rewind just to watch them die again. And E! Oh, yes. Q E again. <laughs> okay, so we just killed a bunch of cockneys. That'll do. Finally, I got to kill someone. I don't know what that says about me. All I know is I loved it. And there's another switch here to E. Oh, oh, hang on. Never. Wow, a tin woodsman. Be careful, Ayumi. This is Skyguard's heavy infantryman. Death is he has a body generating a device on his back. It makes him invincible. Oh, invincible! Remember, Thanks. Your main advantage is your time rewind ability. Make use of it. Have to queue there. Resistance is futile. You are not the Borg. Right, rewind time, keep him distracted. And keep him distracted again. Keep on trying. Discover your enemy's weak spots and find a way to destroy his health regenerating device. Okay. Make use of the time rewind ability during the fight. 
E. I had to E him. And stabby, stabby, stabby. Right, rewind time again. To while I'm stabbing him in the face. Oh, I get it. So while I'm stabbing him in the face, he's distracted and then I slice off his things. He's a bit like Bane. You are useless without your things. Q, Q. There you go. Just distract him again. Burn, bitch. Oh, God, that hurts. And I can't Q. E. I'm trying to E you. E. There we go. And... Stab in the face, stab in the face, stab in the face. I'm assuming that they don't want the portal to be opened. Well, the portal leads to the Sky Islands. That's their territory, but I don't understand. People are not a threat to them. It doesn't matter. I'm going ahead. Oh, are you now? That was a remarkably easy boss fight. I'm sorry, but it was. I mean, so far we faced the Aperture Science Colossus. That was fairly difficult. Then there was that Shaman. Who I had to basically shoot a hell of a lot more than I needed to with the crappy rifle. And then that guy. Bosses are getting easy. They're really hitting the humans hard. Is that what Michelle was afraid of? I can see the natural selection process in action. But I already know who will win this fight. Yeah, me! just not your fault that everyone else is such a spanner they can't even hold one. Right, now I'm pretty sure that there's going to be mines all over here, so I'm just going to stick to the air. There you go, and burn! And there we go, E with burning swords. Burn for me! And E with flaming swords. Oh, when you E those sky guards, that is brutal. Q! And E! And E for you. And kick attacks are fun. But I'm going to play the machine gun again. God, the cockneys are useless. And E. Yep, well, we called it. We said we know who'd win. And I said it was me, and it was me. Natural selection, my ass. I'd say it's rather unnatural selection, but there we are. Oh, there's an altar. There's an altar. Which doesn't work. That's not quite as good as it should be. Oh god, they're all lobbing grenades. And let me E you. And there we go. Right, now for you, matey boy. God. They've all got grenade launchers. That is not cool. Right. Time to shoot the cockneys. Have some of that, mate, in the back. There, feel the wrath of my shadow friend. Nope, that didn't work either. Honestly, I can't go a single episode of this show without dying. This is not cool. 
I want to improve my luck and I want to do better at this game, but I can't because I just keep dying horribly. Eh, have some of that. Slicey, slicey. And E to finish. Followed by Q. Ha 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 ha. Oh, come on. Well, you were easy. Oh god, they've got they've got the thing. Eh, hey, have some of this. Do you like my new machine gun? I do. I also like to queue. And the altar's active. Hello. There's an altar here. I said that. Come on, what powers am I going to get? Ooh, hello. Massive ignition. Massive freeze. Massive heavy strike. No, you know what? I'm going to do this. Massive heavy strike. Rage saving. Casting spells doesn't fully deplete your rage. That might be handy. You gain rage by using combos and spells. Uh, frost weapon. No, I'm not gonna, I don't even use frost that often. Fire disease. Burning enemies set others around them on fire. If you hit a burning enemy with a heavy strike, the enemy will explode. <laughs> you can slide even when being hit by enemies. That'll be handy. But I think... I'm going to choose Fire Disease. Okay, I've got to use Massive Heavy Strike on these guys. Okay. Let's build up some Rage. And then... Okay, so just got to... Oops, steady. Steady. Careful now. Get skull until the second icon on the rage bar lights up. Okay. So I've just got to get the second level of rage. Okay, got to get the red skull. Because, of course, red is vitally important here. Because I've got red on me. Oh my god, that is awesome. I am going to be using that so much. And slide. And three. Boom! <laughs> that was fun. I'm so using that. Thank you, Alter, for finally giving me a tier two spell. Oh, crap. Honestly? Okay, by the looks of it, it just ported me straight up to the top. I suppose that's one way to do it. Okay, what's through here? Another cutscene. Oh, Mr. Top Hat. His top hat's over what his a eyes. Sophisticated mind one would need to construct all this. That's just crazy. How could anyone make all that stuff? Uh, too much time on their hands and beer. Okay, looks like we've got a puzzle platforming section. Okay, so that's a double jump and slide. Yes, I am. We will skip the cutscene. Thank you very much. Okay. So that's a double jump and then a slide. One, two, slide. Okay. And this one. One, two, slide. Okay. Oh, that's fire. That's not fun. Although, probably is what I expected from Dragonland. Oh, come on. I cut in half, halfway through my jump. That was so not cool. 
Oh, but at least he pulls me back at the fire. Okay. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this puzzle platforming. No, I'm... That's what you built the machine for. The machine was supposed to kill me, not you. Oh, seriously? Do I really need to get at my machine gun? There we go. I'll put an end to your dickery. Okay. Oh, God. This goes on forever. Oh, there's a switch all the way over there. Fun times. Oh, this bit is just going to infuriate me, but I, I s we'll end the episode once I've finished it. We will end the episode once I've finished it because I'm determined to beat it. Yes, we'll skip that cutscene. Thank you very much. I get it. Things are trying to kill me. Oh, that's a temporary platform. Nice of you to let me know. Yes, cutscene. Thank you. We get it. One, two... Are those, can I lock onto those corals? That'd be nice if I could, and I could just slide around all over the place. Alright, can I get a coral lock? Oh, seriously, jumping on the spot throws you off the edge now. Up one rage down. Yes, yes, cutscene, get it. Oh, this is hard. It's good job I'm used to dying a lot. Come on. Come on, Ayumi. We can do this. We are better than the dicks of Dragonland. What the... Oh, come on. Am I supposed to lock onto those corals and slide along? Or am I supposed to just keep jumping and hoping for the best? It's hard to say. Alley up, slide. Alley up, slide. No, I think I have got to lock onto the corals because that looks like too much of a jump. Hmm. I will defeat this. Yes, cutscene, skip it. Ah, so you do. Ah ha ha! Activate switch, which does. What exactly? Okay, so the corals are slidable. But what exactly has that switch done? All I can see around me is death, death, more death, and some slightly different death. Oh, come on. I was doing so well. Ah, ah, I get it. That's just taken down that for me. So, yes, I think we'll come back to this level and we will continue this next week. And looks like we've got one more thing and then the portal opens. So, until next week, I've been Silas. She's been Ayumi. And we'll see you next time.